This is going to be a two-part video where, first of all, I'm going to go through some photos that I captured from the South Bank, South Melbourne area in Melbourne, Australia. That was captured some images I caught on iPhone Pro 13. And I went on about a 20-minute photo walk. And I've got a number of images there I want to go through. And then I'll take those same images and with the Windows Photo app, turn those into black and white images. So stay with me and we'll go through, first of all, the photos and then turn them into black and whites. And if you want to skip parts, you can go to the this timestamps in the description. In the interest of keeping the video to a reasonable time length, I won't dwell a lot on going through all the detail of the images, but I will go through them. This is an overall scene just to give you context of the area. And that's probably my favourite shot that I got of that particular scene. That was another option. And I'll put both, I think, through to black and white and see the differences. But that's the shot that I like from that particular scene. Just to remind you, that's the context of the overall there. And that's the image that I've come up with. That'll be interesting to see. That's another choice. This, again, I love the, the textures. That obviously, we've got all the lines there in the car park in the background. But the textures of the growth, the green, and all the wonderful lines, the simplicity the design, the graphicness of it is, is really powerful and I think will work well in black and white. This is an overall shot there to give you context again. And that's the shot that I like from that scene. Again, that's the scene which does work as a shot in itself. In fact, I'll have a look at that in black and white as well. This was nearby and again, the contrast. It's a summer's day the contrast. I think that's something that will work well in the black and whites. Now with this, this is to give you context. The image for me, that I quite like that one with the street sign. But I love the simplicity of this one as well. And that's with the pile on there for the um, electric, electric power pole. The old and the new. It'll be fun to see what that looks like in black and white. Uh, the very strong graphic ones, very powerful, should work well. This I was using simply for the two reds. If anything, the two red posts need to be lifted in contrast for that to work well. Um, the idea is <laughs> the idea was quite a good one, but definitely that would need to be lifted in the contrast as a color image. But we'll have a look, see what that looks like in black and white. This I like, and normally the sort of the um, inconsistent light, the, 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 the dabbled of light that's been filtered by obviously the roof, the roof covering, but it works really well. I love this aspect. It almost looks like a couple of hands showing through. Well, enjoy that. That was another shot, obviously, from the same thing with the 10 speed limit and the giveaway there in the bottom right hand corner. Few people waving there. <laughs> I think that'll work well. But the one I like best is that one. That'll be the one that I'll be doing black and white. Now I caught a few different angles of this. I'll just go through them, come back, see which one is best. Well, I love the sweepy curve. The S, such a powerful symbol in your photographs, isn't it? The S curve, fantastic. I like that. But at the end of the day, you know, I think it's this one. But that as well. I'll now take those same shots and turn them into black and whites. I've opened the first image in the Windows Photo app. Says I'm working off a laptop. And to start to do the editing, and we're going to turn this into black and white. Come up here to the top left, there's the icon there. Click on that, and that introduces the editing options. And today we're doing a black and white, so we're coming over to filters. And over here, 
I'm working off a laptop, the layout might be slightly different depending on what device you're on. And we have a selection of preset filters, including one, two, three, four different black and whites. So to give you a sense straight away of the, the feel of the different filters, the different black and white filters, white cool, black and white warm, black and white high contrast, straight black and white. And the second tool that you have to operate is the intensity. So by simply dragging that down, if we go all the way down, we're back to a color image. That's because we're on zero. That's your number. So there it is on zero, which takes away the effect at all and then bring it up. And that's your number. That's the way to, if you're, if you're looking at grading and keeping images at a similar level, that's what to work off. So let's go back up to the 100 full effect of these filters. That I prefer so far, the black and white cool. We've got black and white warm. All these things are so much personal taste. And it's very individual. But for my personal choice, we've got the one, two, three. To me, it's either the warm or the cool. I'm going the warm. I like that. Yep. It looks good. And I'm going to leave it at its full intensity, often with the black and white. When you're working with other filters with the Windows Photo app, I often I find I reduce the intensity down quite a bit. But often with the black and white, I'm just leaving it at its full effect. Not always, but often, more often than not. So I'm going black and white warm. To save the image, you come up to the, the, the Save Options, click on this, save as a copy, and that way I'm keeping the original and I can always re-edit, and I'm just saving this as a copy, which is what I like to do all the time. I come over to my Downloads. Now, because I've already got it saved in my Downloads, the original image is saying, do I want to replace it? And the answer is no, because I want the original as well as that in my downloads. So then I get rid of the no sign, and then I just simply add the letter E into the file name, meaning it's edited, and I could put black and white, and then that is now saved. I like that. Looks all this, the black and white effect of all this, the contrast has worked well. Let's pull these shapes out. And that's nice. Works well. This is the other shot I got from that same scene. So I'll just briefly go through this. We come again over to filters. Now, let's see. It. It'll probably... There's the warm. Black and white cool. Black and white at its full. At its full intensity, 100. Black and white contrast. Yeah, on this one, I'm leaving it as black and white contrast. So I'll save that, but I do prefer the other image. But again, I'll come over here and save it as a copy. Now I know I've got these, so I'll have the same thing. So I'm adding the letter E, which means it's been edited. I save it to my downloads. Okay, now this is again, I think sometimes the, the ones that can work the best, not always, but as a guideline, is the strong graphic images, the strong design images can work really well with black and white, and then also the more contrasty, the, or images that lend themselves to contrast. Come over to the filters. It's the black and white filter. Black and white cool, black and light warm, high contrast, warm's good. Black and white cool for this one, yeah, <laughs> it's great. So just a reminder, that's what it looks like in color. 
By the way, if you want to see what the original looks like, I've got that. So you can either slide that right down, which I just did there, or you can just click, put your cursor over the, the image and just hold the mouse down. And that brings up the, you are viewing the original image. Let it go. And that's what you've got as set as a filter. Original. I like it. <laughs> it's fun. So we've gone black and white cool on this one. I'll save that as well. I'm going to pop in the letter E again because I've already got it saved in my download. So I don't want to replace that file. High contrast black and white. Okay. That's interesting. Black and white warm. Black and white cool. Black and white. So for this one, for me, it's going to be black and white warm or black and white cool. Black and white warm. Okay. Saving as a copy. Coming over to my downloads. So this is the favorite shot from that particular scene. And let's have a look. This is the... Come over... Filters, the original black and white, black and white cool, black and white warm, black and white high contrast. So for this image, I'm going black and white, the straight filter. I like the effect of that. So I'm going to save that as a copy again. Now, this has got a fair bit of contrast there, especially on the right-hand side. So let's see what effect the black and white filters have on this one. Black and white warm. Yeah, I like that. I like that too. Okay. Interesting. You can see how it creates a very different feel depending on the, the filters. High contrast, warm, cool, black and white. So for me, it'll be black and white, warm, or black and white, high contrast. With the high contrast in this shot, it's almost developing a sinister look over here. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it. On this one, I'm going to leave it as black and white, high contrast. Now, with this one, I've put this up. This was a reference shot, really. I, I do like the shot. Forgive the converging lines there. It needs to The perspective needs to be ideally altered. But keeping that in mind, if we come over to the black and white, I think this will be a case where the milder is better. So original black and white filter, black and white cool, black and white warm, black and white high contrast. So for me, this will be where the straight black and white filter is the best. So I'll save that. I like that. That's a case in point where that one stands out in my mind. I like that. So with this one, that's your straight black and white, black and white cool, black and white warm. It's going to be black and white warm. It's the cool or the warm for me. I'm going cool. This was my favorite shot from that particular scene. So we come over to filters again. Black and white. Black and white cool. See, it brings out more of the texture of the brick, definitely. And that does too. I like that. Yep. This one for me is the, we're back to the black and white warm.
This has got quite a strong sky presence, as in it's a powerful the original black and white, black and white cool, black and white warm, black and white high contrast. Because these on this image, interestingly, they all work, but they all have a very different effect. Like all this here is lovely with this high contrast, black and white warm, that brings out some lovely around here. Cool, different feel. Yeah, the black and white, I'm not so crazy about. It's the straight black and white. So for me, it's going to be the warm or the high contrast. The warm. I'm sticking with the warm on this one. So I go up here, save as a copy. I'm going to do my usual pop the Because I've already got them saved in my downloads as the original image, I want to keep a separate copy, and I don't want the original one replaced in my download folder. So pop the letter E in to the file name. That's my personal choice. You can write whatever you want. You could write black and white edit. Then I press save. And then I've got both in my downloads. Of course, you could be saving these images to a USB stick, to a drive, external drive, and save it to anywhere you want, Dropbox, anything you like. This should work well with a black and white image. So let's have a look. We'll go through them. The original black and white filter, black and white cool, I like that. Black and white warm, yes, I... I I'm definitely having a leaning to the warm on a number of these, but I like that as well. I've got a feeling, no, it won't be the warm this time. It's either the cool, for me it's cool, or black and white high contrast. So just remind ourselves, that's the original. That's black and white high contrast. That's black and white cool. I'm going cool. Black and white cool it is for me. Come across again up to save options. I'm saving as a copy. I go to my downloads for my personal choice. You can save it to anything you want. I'm putting in the letter E as in edit. So I get to save the original already in my downloads. Now this was shot originally with the idea of the red standing out. That's what it was all about. Now let's see how it works in black and white. It doesn't on the black and white straight filter. Doesn't in the cool, not in the warm, and not in the high contrast. So it's I'm using this to illustrate the we'll go back to the original. In fact, what I'll do just very quickly, I know I'm going off track here, but I'll come over to adjustments, clicking up here on the adjustment there. And I'm going to go over to contrast just to show what I'm talking about where this image needs to. There we go. So this is one of those cases where you could almost go berserk and make a, a, a an abstract almost statement. That's contrast at full whack. And suddenly that's what I had in mind. So there's the original. I know I'm detouring off topic, if you like. But that's what it would be about. And in fact, while I'm here, just for the heck of it, if I'm free flow cropping. That is what that image was going to be about. Okay, now this image, I like this one, with the hands waving, if you like. So we, again, we open up our filters, we come down, and we've got straight black and white. Black and white cool, black and white warm, black and white high contrast. This, to me, there's no ifs or buts. To me, this is definitely the warm filter. Yeah, the cool as well. The cool's got a place. So it's, it's the choice in my mind. My personal choice is black and white cool or black and white warm. But the black and white warm wins. So again, I'm saving as a copy. I'm choosing to save in my downloads. You can save anywhere. I've already got a copy in my downloads. So I'm putting in the letter E into the file name. This was the image from this particular scene that I was making 
the one that of my choice. So we come over, we go to filters. That's it in straight black and white. Black and white, cool. I like that. Warm contrast. It's cool. Yeah. Just go over them again. The original black and white. Black and white cool filter. Black and white warm filter. That works well. I like that as well. Black and white contrast. That looks good. But for me, it just lends itself nicely to the cool. That's a cool image now. <laughs> uh, but to save as a copy, downloads. This is the last image from that particular photo walk that I selected. And let's have a look what it's like. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the straight black and white filter. That's the cool filter. Warm high contrast. So the high contrast is too much. And as I've talked about before, when you lower the intensity, when you're doing switching over, to me, it gets quite murky. I know people, it's all so much personal taste. And some people would say, no, I really like it like that. My personal taste is no. I prefer it either to be full black and white on or off. Meaning I leave the, the intensity at 100% when I'm turning color images, color files into black and white. So the original black and white. Cool, warm, high contrast. So not high contrast. It's warm, black and white, cool, or black and white. Black and white cool. Yep, the black and white cool it is for me. I like it. So as you can see, it's a very straightforward process to turn your color images into black and white images. And with having these choices, again, we come over to the filters, Having these set preset filter choices makes it very simple, but it's enough choice of different types of black and white. The thing is to have fun with it all. It's just another option in your photography. And it doesn't matter what camera you've been using, whether you're shooting this on your mobile phone, on your cell phone, whether you're shooting this on $50,000 worth of body alone, let alone the lens. And <laughs> you get my gist. I'm exaggerating. I'm sure you get my point. That it's about having fun with your photography and having this black and white filter option is just another world to open up. And some photographs really do lend themselves well more than others to black and white images. But you will find that simply by experimenting and opening up images that you shot in different situations very quickly you can see which ones you personally prefer as black and white versus color and that's what it's all about you don't have to follow a whole ton of so-called sort of rules and everything yeah there's guidelines use those guidelines have fun with it you decide which ones you like the look of I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Have fun with your photography. Do press subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I look forward to seeing you in another video.